Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. We out here. That is all headshot. There's not gonna be a pellet in that meat. Oh my gosh. What up YouTube? It's your man, Beef and Big Gunstone. We out here. It's turkey hunting opener. I drew first season. There's really no excuse for me not to get a turkey. I'm out here on my brother's farm. kind of pinned down by a hand right now. So what I got for my call there that you just heard is this Quaker Boy Double Yelper. I don't exactly know who makes this. Maybe it's Quaker Boy. I don't know. But I know for a fact that this call was with me when I shot the other turkey that I shot in my life. Which is when I was 13, 27 years ago. You got to keep them shorter. And then this is my purse side. Here's my hen decoy that I'm running. Yeah, there's a gobbler going nuts on the next spot over. And I can access it. So I'm thinking I need to get going here pretty soon before that gets any further along. Maybe I'll just wait for tomorrow to sneak back there in the dark. I had an encounter on the hill uh, later, but I wasn't recording at the time. I was kind of sneaking through, and as it was, as the bird was coming in, I don't know if I saw a tom turkey. I think I did. It was windy Wednesday and Thursday, and I didn't really have any good footage on there anyway, so you're not really going to see a lot of that. Friday morning, it was raining like heck. I didn't even try to go. So now fast forward to Saturday morning. I'm out in the woods trying to make the play on the sneak back to where I heard the gobbler going nuts. This is now three days later. in that same call out here a couple times morning. Wednesday morning, definitely more than that. It 
feels like I could kill a turkey here, but I gotta stop with the call for a while. I'm not positive that it's an asset to me. All right, fam, this is fair warning. The upcoming scene has some stuff in it that could be disturbing. Watch at your own discretion from here. Spot number three for the morning. I heard one time sounding off. It's that same time that I was sounding off all morning. I kind of tried to follow him the way he was going. Everything's shut up now. And I think what's going on is that it's still basically winter. Morel mushrooms aren't up yet. I mean, it's been a cold, long April. And I don't think that, like, the hens, I saw a bunch of hens together yesterday in a field. And I just don't think they're, like, trying to nest yet. Like, they aren't even broken off, like, to establish nesting sites. If I see five together, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems like that, that what that must mean. And so if I'm just calling out a Tom that's sitting there staring at six or eight hens that's his harem or whatever I'm probably shit out of luck makes me think I should go and bang around on some other public chunks and try to put something together so I think that's what I'm going to do obviously I'm always using my eyes and ears but I heard that gobbler two more times but he must, he must be with hens. Oh my god, I got a Tom walking in right now. I just absolutely pounded a Tom Turkey. Yes! He was strutting. Oh my, I can't believe that just happened. That bird is dead right over there. I shot his head. Are you kidding me? Oh! Yeah, baby! Look at this, Tom! Turkey. Oh my gosh. It's a Jake, I guess. It's not a big time, but oh, that's so satisfying. I might have shot the wrong one. I could see his head. I could see his head. It was 20 yards away. I had to get him. Yes. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, I'm so pumped, I can't even believe it. Oh! How about it? I must not have clicked my safety off all the way. Because my gun didn't shoot, I would have shot it a second or two earlier. Sucker didn't know what he was looking at. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened! We out here! That is all headshot. There's not gonna be a pellet in that meat. Oh my gosh.
cats just like me. Just as soon as I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get up. It's time to get out of here. Those birds never called once. Not from this direction. Wherever they came from, I got no idea. They heard my calling. They came in downwind. There was two of them. I hope I didn't shoot the, the little one, but honestly, it was a shot, and I don't really care. I haven't shot a turkey in so long. It happened so fast, it was almost feels like luck, but ooh, I'm shaking now. I didn't have a time to get nervous when I was sitting there in the tree. So if you look right about here, there's a fall down tree. I was sitting right there and I shot him right, right through this hole right here, right out to here. I can pace it off, but it's like 20 yards, 25 yards. I don't know if you can see where the bird and my gun is from right here. That, that dark, that dark stuff right there. Absolutely unreal. I'm gonna be a hero when I get home because I'm not gonna be late for the birthday parties. This is unbelievable. Oh, I'm so pumped. It's not a big Tom. It's not a mature Tom. I didn't fool any kind of animal today. That's a young, dumb dude, ready to go. He could see my hen decoy. He puffed up. He was puffing up. You know what? I realize none of it's going to be on camera except for my reactions and some flopping on the ground. That's as good as I can do right now. It's absolutely exhilarating to have a camera going when stuff like that's happening. Oh, I'm so pumped. All right, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get to picking up. That's my turkey season. So as the show turns over into the culinary part of it all, I kind of got to preface it by saying, <laughs> I haven't killed a turkey in 27 years. When I was 13 years old, I didn't even really care about eating it. And, and now I definitely do. If I'm being perfectly honest, process has kind of been an experiment for me. But it's we out here style. So I definitely already have some really good observations that I've made early on in the process. <sighs> Got the bird on Saturday. It's Monday now. So we've kind of been like doing a crash course on turkey. <sighs> so what did I find out in the process of cleaning a turkey for the first time in 27 years? Through the scope of I'm going to be eating every bit of this thing that I can. First... Turkeys are easy to pluck. You can get rid of the feathers really fast. Really fast. So I don't think there's any excuse not to do that. And really try to use the whole bird. So I took all the innards out. The bird was shot just all on the head, like all on the upper half of the neck and head. Um, I really could use almost the entire bird. There is so much more to offer from these birds than just a couple of big chunks of the white meat that dries out really quick. The chunks of the wings, all the rest of the carcass, all the skin that was left over off the breast, all went into a pot. The feet, the neck, anywhere that wasn't shot. I boiled all the bones with a couple onions, just sliced in half, garlic, cloves, like three of them, salt, and I just let it, I just let it simmer for like 12 hours. It was like 14 hours maybe. Get to the point. We took all that stuff and we made broth out of it already. You can see that fat layer just swimming on top of it. Which I guess we aren't supposed to do, but we're going to be using this stuff up quick. So um, I don't see the fat going rancid or anything like that in the amount of time that we're going to give it. Look at how many cans we got. Pressure can it at 11 pounds. 25 minutes. The byproduct of all that boiling was having all that loose meat on there. Now it's dry. And I can acknowledge that. It's boiled turkey. It's long boiled turkey. It's pretty dry. But I mean to tell you, I got a lot of it. So it's all in broth still, 
part in the fat glistening off of the top of this thing as I come in. But that right there is basically like all the meat that fell off of the bones. I'm going back to, I'm going right to where grandma did. I'm going back. I thought I really picked through this stuff yesterday. <sighs> I'm still finding bone chunks. I thought that I was going to be really super slick. Take a hatchet to this thing and just like chop it in half like the people I see on TV on the food shows that I like aspire to be like. Yeah, it didn't work out like that. And so now I'm digging through trying to find bones and all this stuff. And so this is probably going to be some adventure eating. I don't know if you do it my way, I probably wouldn't serve it to kids. Um, there's just some... I find it hard to believe that I'm going to get all the bones out of this stuff. I've been working at it. I'm still trying right now. I'm just feeling my way through it. You know, this is Midwest comfort food. I think a lot of people <laughs> are going to be familiar with what I'm doing. And all, all I want to say about it is that it's delicious and um, you can pull it off with a wild turkey. I'm going to prove that right now and I'm super pumped about it. So all I've done here is just taken the wok, poured all the rest of the broth and all the chicken in there. I combed it for bones for a while. Didn't find any more in it. I'm sure I'm still going to find a couple little chunks. Uh, as a defense, I'm going to boil it hard one more time before I cool it back down and then I'll start stirring in the creamy soups and seasoning. Alright fam, uh, we're back. I've let a pretty significant amount of that broth boil off of it. It's really condensed down now. But I mean look at all this meat. That's all just perfectly shredded meat. Dark and light. And I mean to tell you, it's pounds of it. It's pounds of meat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple cans of cream mushroom soup and drop them in. Cream of mushroom soup one. Cream of mushroom soup two. I tasted it. It needs salt. I tasted it. It needs garlic. It needs black pepper. It needs something bright in there too to loosen it up. I'm going with parsley. So let's assemble this thing. Piece of rye bread. Nicely toasted. Start shoveling it on. This is Midwest comfort food at its finest. I'm going to call it turkey shit on a shingle. Because I don't know why not. That's exactly what it is. Chip meat. Cream sauce. On a piece of white bread. In this case, rye. Let's get it cascading off the side. Because yum. Oh yeah, look at that beauty. Oh. That's what you're all here for. Look at that splendid little mess. Trust me, I realize that that actually looks like a bunch of dog puke rolling over a piece of rye toast. Doesn't matter to me. It took a pretty good amount of effort for me to get that stuff put together. I'm proud of it. And considering a lot of guys just leave everything that's in this meal in the woods, I'm real proud of that. Let's get a face hit. You gotta get the bread nice and crisped up. Here we go, it's face hit time. Oh yeah. Shit on a shingle edition, turkey style. Let's do this. Bone in the first bite. That's good. Going in for a second hit, why not? 
Bone on the first one. I knew it was going to be adventure eating. Literally the first bite. There was a bone in there. Let's see if it's like that on the second one. Nope. So doggone it. The idea is good. That's delicious. You just got to get the bones out of it. That is a butchering mistake that I won't make next time. You got to try this. I mean, that is pounds and pounds and pounds of meat that I'm going to be able to throw into some quart bags and portion them out, throw them in the freezer, pull them out when I need them for a quick lunch. It's a no-brainer. You could easily throw that on the side of a salad. You wouldn't even need dressing for it. Dip those greens down into there, arr, shovel them in. Shit on a shingle, turkey style. I'm in on it. I think you should be too. We out here. Catch you on the next one.